Hello everybody, welcome back to Talking Games FC. My name is Hugh and you are watching the Talking Games YouTube channel. Um, last time out, uh, got a scrappy 1-0 win, but the team who was above me, um, emphasis on was, uh, Middlesbrough um, lost. So I am now currently top of the league. So let's get straight into it. Home, home game against Sheffield Wednesday. Um, hopefully I can play a bit better than I did in the last game and um, have a bit more of a comfortable time about things as opposed to struggling through the game. Um, but we'll soon find out on that case. Um, but yeah, we're well into the season now. We're, uh, I think this match is, in terms of date in the game, is taking place 5th of December. So I think another three maybe four games possibly one or two more um and we'll hit the mid-season transfer window which uh is when some real fun to start oh that was nearly a good uh opening gambit shall we say but yeah hopefully we can get some i can get some good players in and um, second half of the season we'll kick on Oosh, all right. Forcing them back to start the game. Uh, I do quite like a good train. Who doesn't like a train? That's a nice ball. Oh, damn, that was close. I don't quite like that. That train is good because it's just, like your, your players huddle together, so I think it's more difficult for the opposition team to sort of um, like mark them up properly. Because I think once they start moving, it just just becomes chaos. So if you can pick one of your players out, then um, it can make life difficult for the opposition. Oh yes, rolled it in, rolled it in. I love those finishes. Just nice and simple, nice and calm. Roll it in the bottom corner, and look who scored for me. It's that man again. I thought I was caught in a bit of no man's land there, then gave it to that guy, and there was nobody around. And thankfully, one thing I will say for him is he's not a very good finisher, but his passing is generally pretty good which is highly beneficial to me um because i can just keep feeding bamu and uh by and large he does a good job of uh finishing the, the chances oh that was uh, sloppy let him get past me oh, nice pass mate i shouldn't have turned this i don't know why he turned there I'm going to have to hit this first time. Damn it. That would have looked spectacular if it had gone in. Alright, well, we got a nice early goal, so. This team do look a bit more. Uh, Potent going forward than the last team we played with. Oh, yeah, that was the uh, the proverbial hospital pass. I wasn't expecting that ball to get through to him then, so I got just kind of switched off, in all honesty. It was a bit of a hit and hope that pass, and it actually got where I meant it to. I should be more optimistic. There's a life lesson. Oh, 
free kick, surely. What? Oh, need a bit of space. Go back to him. Ah, oh, damn. Just close me down quick enough to get a tackle in. Oh, I wasn't expecting him to get there. That was a good chance. Hitting it. Ooh! There was a bit of stank on that. Boosh. One day one of those will fly in for me. Alright, let's get the choo choo on again. Choo choo, motherfucker. Yeah, that was weak. Yeah, not the best header. Oh, nice football. Yeah. That's what, what I was worried about in the last game that didn't happen. And now it's happened in this one. But hey ho. I just need to be a bit more clinical going forward. He hasn't paid the ultimate price. He's not dead. Come on, get there, get there, get there. Oh, he's a bit isolated here. Got a bit of room. Come on. Oh, shit, I thought I was in then. Alright, come on team, let's get going. Oh, uh. Okay, let's keep it sensible. Down in low. Oh, I thought that might have deflected in then. I think sometimes you need teams to score against you to wake you up a bit. Because it's easy to get sloppy. Oh my god, I'm winning headers from corners all the time and I'm just not scoring. It is quite frustrating. Did give it a fair old crack, and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Come on, get there. Ah, <laughs> oh, if he had got something on that, then that was like undoubtedly a goal then. All right. Well, yeah. Very, very watchable. Two goals, one each. You don't win things without challenges, I suppose. Quite literally pulling my sleeves up for this second half.
Every time I put a cross in, it just looks like I'm going to score a header, but then I don't. Oh, yes! That was fucking glorious! What a strike! Smashed it in off the bottom corner posty thingy where Jigger, that, you know, that sticky uppy thing. That one. That white thing that comes out of the floor. You'll see now, watch, see. That's it. I, I'm not wrong. I didn't elocute it very well, but I was right. Clang in off the post. That's what I was trying to say. In off the post. Got too excited. That was out of nowhere then. I was just I was expecting that to be like for the keeper to save it and just it go out for a corner or maybe get a rebound, but Damn, that was a glorious effort. Quite pleased with that. Sheffield grateful for the genius of their manager last time round. Right, let's oh, let's just try and push on and get another goal and try and get a bit of a bit of room for comfort. Let's go. Come on, dude, run. Right, keep going myself then. Come on. Yes, that's what we want. Another hat trick for that man. He just can't stop scoring. I think that might take him over 20 for the season now. Which is crazy because we're not even halfway through the season yet. I think when this game finishes, I'll have a look at how many goals the team as a whole have scored and how many he himself has scored. I highly expect he scored about at least 75% of my goals. There we are. Bit of a uh, bit of a comfort zone. I think I just need to be careful with these lot. To not, oh man, if he had hit that first time, I could have got that ball in behind. Not to let them drag my defenders out of position, because that's what they're doing. They're pulling, they're pulling them forwards and then just getting in behind. But well, at least that's what happened when they scored. Correct. I'm going to make some substitutions myself. Oh, why did he back heal that? There was no need for that. Flashy nonsense. I'll be coming out of your wages, mate. This defense is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busy. Oh, it's a first time. One frustrating thing with this game is like you'll power up a shot, so your player hits it as soon as he gets to the ball, and they they take they take a touch, and then by the time they come around to like actually go in for the shot, the defenders have closed them down and they've lost the ball. And you know, if the player's not good enough to be accurate with a first time shot then that's fine that's my fault but at least be ready do it yes there we go game set and match as the tennis people say nice little one two down the line finally scored some headers after me whinging about it for most of the match. Right, okay, I guess we can rest some people. Right, he's a bit tired, so I'll bring him off. Um, he can go there. Yankov sounds like a dirty name. T. And he can have a run out too. I did, like, um, off air, so to speak, I have released um, a handful of players, so my wage budget is now up to just shy of a million pounds. Um, so as I was saying on the last episode, that was an interesting goalkeeper. As I was saying on the last episode, is a free agent player who I'm negotiating with, who I just need to agree wages with. 
Um, originally, he was asking for like 1.3 million, and I was negotiating him down, and I can't remember exactly um, what figure I managed, though I went back to him with. Um, so hopefully 900,000 will be enough. Because like I said, if I can get him, he'll be like a big improvement for the team in terms of like quality of player. I just want to score a goal from outside of the box. Uh. They're not back within reach. They've still got two goals to get to get a draw. And I'm going to play really boring football now and just keep the ball. So. It's not going to be particularly entertaining to watch for the next few minutes, but. Killing the game. Here we go. So they bask in their win, a genuinely professional performance, and a result which is well deserved. Yeah, I do. Started looking a bit rocky when he equalised, but I think it, that might have actually uh, done me a bit of good in that it woke me up a bit because I was just playing a bit sloppily. So. Alrighty, let's see how other results went this week. Um, where are Middlesbrough? Uh, Middlesbrough won. Okay, so I think it's kind of as you were. Yeah, one point gap between me and them, although I do have a better goal difference now. Um, so as a team, I've scored 39 goals. And I imagine Bamu's got about 20 of those. Which we will have a look shortly once this goes through its thing. Ooh, we've had some transfer updates. Okay, we'll have a look at them in a moment. Um, yes, he scored 20. So he scored more than 50% of my goals. Um, right, okay. Before we finish up, we'll have a look at what these negotiations are. I'm um, still waiting for a response on this guy... Alario is the one I really want. Um, oh, this is... He's responded. And he's what he wants 961,000. I wonder if I can go back to him with a slightly longer contract. A 96% chance of him signing a four and a half year contract, which would be great because it means I don't have to renegotiate and pay him more. Um, I can't up his wages any, but I could. If I offer him a goal bonus. Okay. I still got to wait for him to come back and approve that, but it says there's a 100% chance. Um, 472,000 transfer fee for that loan. Let's renegotiate. I always renegotiate because, you know, you got you got to wheel and deal a bit, haven't you? Um, hmm. Nah, I'll just accept it. Um, I'm signing this guy purely as just like an, an option. He's not going to be... I don't think a first teamer. Although I give him a try, see what he see what he's like. He won't join the team until the transfer window opens once we hit January the first in the game. And we're currently on December twelfth, and there's a massive gap between games then. Um So that wraps it up for this episode of Talking Games FC. Um another good win. 
um, and hopefully some uh, some wheeling and dealing in the pipeline in terms of getting some players in. So thank you for joining me. I've been Hugh. This is Talking Games FC. Until next time, be good to one another.